To create the 3D printed wheel, the project started with a few ideas and inspiration from various steering wheels. The design was then 3D modelled in Fusion 360. The wheel is made up of separate components that are attached to the main body. At the back of the wheel there are mounting points for magnetic paddle shifters, a hub spacer to allow room for the shifters, a quick release adapter for attaching the wheel and a simplified front button plate. For the wheel to fit on the most common sized 3D printers, the handles are made to be printed separately from the main body and to be bolted on. With the completed design, the next step is to print all the components. These are printed on the end of three using black PLA filament. Once all the parts are printed, we can begin on the assembly. The first step is to remove the support material from the back of the handles using a pair of pliers. With the support material removed, any remaining sharp edges can be filed down and sanded smooth. The next step is to attach the handles onto the main body. Each handle is held on with two bolts and for extra strength and to prevent any movement in the joint, a two-part high strength epoxy can be used. The two-part epoxy is mixed together and then applied to the joining surfaces. The handles are placed into position and then bolted onto the wheel base. We can now place the wheel aside and allow the glue to dry. The next step is to begin preparing the magnetic paddle shifters for installation. The magnets are installed into the printer parts and then we can use super glue to secure them in place. Add and push the micro lever switches into place on the printed holders. Next begin the wiring on the micro switches by taking two lengths of wire and stripping the ends. Add solder to the switch terminals and to the wires, then solder together. To keep the switches in place, use a hot glue gun and add a small amount of glue to the back of the switch. To finish preparing the shifters, install the paddles onto the levers with two bolts. The next step is to bolt the two shifter bases onto the wheel using the four bolts on each side. We can begin on the assembly of the shifters by feeding the wiring from the switch through the centre hole and into the wheel. Then bolting on the top section of the shift paddle unit. Now we have the magnetic shift paddles completed and attached to the wheel. By designing different front covers, the wheel can be customised to fit various displays LEDs, a variety of switches or a small LCD screen. The wheel can also be used as a formula style rim or inverted as a GT rim. For this project I've kept it simple and made a basic front cover to hold the 10 buttons which uses a USB joystick encoder for the interface. The next step is to install the USB cable, the hub spacer and the quick release adapter onto the wheel. On the hub spacer, there is a space for the cable tie. This secures and provides a strain relief guide for the USB cable. The next part is to add nuts into the back of the quick release adapter. Place the hub spacer onto the wheel and bolt together. The front panel can be covered with a piece of carbon vinyl wrap this is cut slightly bigger than the panel and then applied. With a utility knife, trim the edges and cut out the button mounting holes. The next step is to install the 10 push buttons onto the front panel. Prepare and strip the ends of the wires that are provided with a USB encoder, then begin on soldering them to the button terminals. There are 10 sets of wires to solder onto the buttons and two sets for the paddle shifters. The last step of the wiring is to plug in all the connectors to the USB encoder for the 10 buttons, the two paddle shifters and the plug for the USB connection. To complete the wheel, close the front cover and bolt together with the countersunk bolts.
The steering wheel is attached to the Logitech base via the quick release adapter. It can either be used as an F1 wheel or inverted to be used as a GT wheel.